France in white and Mongolia in blue. Very, very close indeed between these two. It's the last place in the final of the men's 66 kilo category. 53 competitors competed over the today. The largest weight category of the weekend. 295 athletes part participating over two days. Thirty-five countries representing those two hundred and ninety-five athletes. And twenty-three international referees working with the new rules, some for the first time. Lovely Kochi. As we know, you're not allowed to touch the leg at all, so turning it into a Kochi gak makes it very, very difficult indeed. Strong grip there of the Mongolian. So halfway of this match now. Tushido's now been awarded to France. One to the Mongolian. Very, very tight still though indeed. Mongolian looking the stronger of the two. Better attacks, deeper. And more opportunities there. You've got a drop Sienagi again. But still without a score on the board, it could go either way. Mongolian really changing the pace now of this match. Tactically looking for the, the Shido to be awarded. And it's, rightly so, it's been given to France. So that's three, one more result in the Hans Okumaki. French been looking for the Niwaza there. It's just now a bit of a tactical game.
So one minute to go, three shudos to France, one to Mongolia. No score in it, but the Mongolian tactically working to his strengths. Frenchman's really struggling with the speed and the pace of this contest. It just seems to be a matter of time where the Frenchman will pick up the next Shido, which would result in a Hansokumaki. But again, a great attack there. Trying to keep the hopes open here for France. Mongolian trying to turn the Frenchman over in the knee waza. So, very, very close match indeed. The Mongolian winning with two, three shidos to two. Very, very close margin indeed for a place in the final of the men's 66 kilo category. And the Frenchman will be up against the Japanese Horishita later on.